Hey everybody, welcome back. Today we're going to confirm the ending. Check if a string, first argument string, ends with the given target string, second argument target. This challenge can be solved with the ends with method, which was introduced in ES 2015. But the purpose of this challenge, we would like to use one of the JavaScript substrings methods instead. Huh. So they say you can use ends with, but they don't want you to. Your code should not use the built-in method ends with. Okay, weird. Um, cool. So, uh, if we solved with the ends with method. Okay, so bastion, n. Does bastion, is the last letter n in bastion? This should return true. Okay, cool. So if we were to console log this, we want the confirmed ending to be uh, true, not uh and not, not the word that was passed in. Okay, cool. So let's say, um, yeah, like the, okay, so last, let's say le last uh, letter equal to the string at position string dot length. And then what happens if we console dot log the last letter? This should just give us n. L-E-N-G-T-H. Okay, we want to be string.length minus 1, right? Why do we want 1? Because 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 6 is the last element. The string.length, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. This is 7 characters long, but if we want the last element, we want to go 7 minus 1. And then we want the position at that. So then, what do we have? Well, here we can see that we've got the last letter, so we could say... If uh, if the last letter is equal to the target, return true. So this should return true now. And then else, we just want to return false. So um, in this example, Bastion should return true. But what if we do Connor? Now the last letter in Connor is R. And that's not going to be equal to n, so this should return false. Cool. Looks like we got it. If we run the tests, doesn't look like they pass. Okay, interesting. So, so abstraction should be equal to action. Okay, this should return true. Cool. So um, <clears throat> what we want to do, is we can't just grab the last character. Anything that's longer than that, this should return false. But same, open sesame should return true because of sesame. So what could we do there? We want to say, um, we could go string dot slice, right? The string dot length minus one. Now what happens if we console dot log the last letter here? Now we're still getting R. So let's put in this example here with open sesame. I like this example. Um, okay, cool. So here we're getting E, but it's same. Same is not equal to E, so this doesn't happen, so we return false, even though it should be returning true. So what do we want to do? We want to say the string length, let's say let the string or the target length is equal to target dot length. And then instead of saying last letter, let's call this our um, matching case, right? Because we want this to be same. So matching case should be equal to there. Instead of last letter, matching uh, target to match. So target to match is equal to string.slice and then string.length minus one. This gives us the last letter. And then if you remember slice, we want to say um, we want to put target length here. Actually, string.length minus target length. Out length. 
got it. Okay, now I kind of just uh, didn't describe that well, so I'm just gonna slide this out. Now, first off, let's run the test and see if they pass. I think that this passes. So now let's say, okay, target length, string dot length. So we're saying, let's get rid of the console log for now. And now we have target to match, right? So target to match, what we, we wanna say the target length. So we find the target length. So for here, it's one, two, three, four. So we wanna say the target to match, what we need to do is pull that out of the string. So we say the length of the string minus the four here. So four, minus the string dot length. This, the string is here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. That's the string dot length. And we do say the target length is equal to same. So 11 minus four is equal to, um, uh, 11, 10, nine, eight, seven, seven, right? So if we were to console log here, uh, the string dot length minus the target length, we're gonna get seven. So we're saying at position seven to position um, 11. So seven to 11, zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then two, eight, nine, 10, 11. And that way we get same. So then our target to match is equal to same, and then our, we could say this is the target to match, and then our target, you see they're both equal to same. This is our target, and this is our target to match. So because these are both the same, they're gonna return true. And if they're not the same, we just return false. And so yeah, that's it. If we run the test, you'll see they pass. Awesome. Hope you guys enjoyed this one, and we'll see you in the next lesson.